the sunroof, the moonroof, maybe for some more light to get in. Uh, but anyway, so, made a video yesterday. I got in a different kind of emotional, um, a little bit of an angry emotional. I got into um, conspiracy crap, but I didn't talk about conspiracies per se, because we still don't know if the vaccine is a conspiracy theory or not. What I mean by that is, there are many conspiracy theories surrounding the vaccine, and many quote-unquote doctors, both for and against, many vaccine specialists for and against, from what a little bit of research I did, an hour, an hour of trying to find information on uh, fucking Christian Nugget, whatever that name, her name is for um, the woman that was, uh, that, that Thunder Wizard was playing. All right, I started off talking and then Siri fucking popped in and fucked me up, but it's all good. Um, uh, yeah, so I started talking about what I wanted to talk about. Then I got on this little bit. I mean, I didn't get recorded. I didn't look down. Siri was, came on and shot my recording. Or my, yeah, my video camera on my phone. But, um, I was talking about creating a fucking union uh, for vaginal practitioners. Fucking got cut off again. This time by fucking iTunes. Man. I really gotta change that default. iTunes just pops up. I mean, I've been using Spotify lately. Um, I don't know why. We just switched. Oh, yeah. We have the Google Nest. That's one with Spotify. And my daughter and my wife alike. Woo, it's starting to get warm now. Shit, I don't want to open this window. It's going to be so fucking loud. But I should have a coveralls, long johns, and all that shit on already. All good. Anyways, yeah, so, vaginal practitioners, uh, witches, as uh, known as magicians, magicians, that was whatever kind of magician you are, um, shamans, whatever. You have to prove that you can maybe manifest something to get in the union, you know? Zoom. A fucking ritual that you do, which, you know, you'd have to have somebody like me with an open mind, and it's not too my own word, but, you know, if someone does a ritual, and I'm watching the ritual on Zoom, and then they show me the proof of that shit, but, you know, and this could be fake, absolutely, but, you know, there'd be some kind of criteria for, because it's like, well, I'm going to do a ritual to make me receive ten pencils in the mail or something. Well, that's pretty silly in the same sense, but it happens to happen, right? But you can technically send yourself those pencils then, you know what I mean? So it would have to be something, other, I mean, I'd say at least money magic. You'd have to at least have a ground basis of the elemental of Earth. I mean, that's my curriculum. So, you know, depending on your tradition, you would have to show me what, you know, what's the stage after the neophyte and what are the things that, you know, you're supposed to have already... I mean, maybe you're just in your neophyte, so... But anyways, this is all just hypothetical. And the union would be to pay you unless you were, like, working for some type of fucking... You know, if you were published by a book company or something like that, or doing really advertising, then that would be different. But the union would be from YouTube blocking your fucking videos because you're messing with them. And the union would fight with fucking people at YouTube and for a battle with you. That would be the main job. Depending how much money you make, if you really need to you know I mean? You're part of the union, you're not making it again, no one's fucking with you, or whatever, but then if you need them to fight for you, then maybe, you know, they fight for you, they get you your result, and then maybe that's when you have to start paying them. Uh, as you use them, you know, I wouldn't say pay them just for nothing. This is just all hypothetical bullshit. That's all I was talking about whenever my video got cut off due to fucking Siri and my map quest and shit. That's not what I always talk about. So, I did some research last night, about an hour. Half an hour of it, just on that woman, Christian, and you get, whatever the name is, the one that was at the end of Thunder Wizard's video, that one video there, three days ago, Friday night, I think it was, maybe Thursday night. Um, my head started to hurt, so then I just went to look at, trying to find vaccine stuff um, that was peer reviewed by other scientists, but really people that I forget the name specific name for someone who just did vaccines. Maybe it was vaccineologists, but I don't think so. But anyways, um, I mean, technically they're all chemists, especially with what they're doing now, trying to change DNA and all that. And that was the one I looked up the most of, because it seems to be the most popular one. For both the conspiracy theories, and anytime you're talking about our DNA, you know, that's a sore spot for a lot of people, like I said in my last video. But, um, 
it started to hurt too, so I kind of stopped it. And I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to repeat anything here today about that until I do more research. But, once again, in my opinion, the proper way to do research is to try to check your fucking belief systems and how you feel about the subject at the fucking door and as objective as you possibly can, which is still going to be a little biased, probably, unless you're really good at this, unless you're really good at taking on the Libra, being the judge and just looking at stuff objectively without being biased to one side or another and have an opinion on it, just look at it objectively and you go where the facts lead you. Okay, that's what I tried to do and then, you know, I did that. So 15 minutes to one direction, 15 minutes to the other direction, which I ended up going probably 23 minutes. Way more because, you know, conspiracy theories were all circling the same drains. And except for maybe one guy had some good theories and was actually backing up his theories. Everybody else was just repeating and using vague blanket statements, which is what I feared. Which is what I was talking about. If all you have are these vague blanket statements, what these things are going to do, but not how they're going to do that without any of the proof of exactly this is where it says all this shit is in this vaccine, and this is what this shit does, and here's the backup and um, the theory and what know the papers that prove that this heavy metal this nanoparticle whatever it is this is what it's done in the past whenever it was in this whatever it was without that you got nothing I'm just gonna go out there and say like i said all respect to the guy who actually has the balls to stand up in front of these people and say what about the robots what about the upload in the cloud what about the lucifer what about the patent and because they don't have all these other facts that say, okay, here's the patent number, here's what it says in this, here's the ingredient list, here's what, you know, without all that information, if you just have blanket statements, without any proof, because you can even be right, but they can just um, actively deny that, you know, plausible deniability, if they don't have that ingredients, because, you know, the um, one thing I did learn was that, um, you know, the nutritional guide on your food, well, that's by the FDA, that's the Food and Drug Corporation, and they have amended their laws recently to not have to even put, before the law was, they have to have at least 13 ingredients on them that may or may not be on them, which is pretty vague and pretty loose to begin with. And they have amended that rule for this coronavirus thing for the time being, that they don't even have to have that many on there. I forget what it was, and I put it on, eternally aware is my guy for coronavirus laws and he thinks outside the box so it doesn't he doesn't just look at the coronavirus laws that are coming in he looks at the fda what they've changed changed because they're the food and drug administration they make the laws on what you can and cannot do when you're selling food and drugs and to me that's a fucking red flag right there that the food and drug administration are linked like that and it's because they put it in your body whether it's food or a drug drugs more so food lesser but they both change how you feel, how you think, whatever the case is. Drugs obviously on a higher level. So this guy thinks outside the box and he looks up other things that are relevant and he puts things together. And he's very good at it. Whether he's right or wrong, he's very fucking good at it and he'll make you think. And that's why I said there's some truth to some of the theories, conspiracy theories around the vaccines. And there's way more research needed to be done. But he actually knows what he's doing. He puts it up there, the fucking laws, right from the rights, the Constitution Acts, all that shit. He puts it right up there. Then he puts up the new bill that's been passed. I don't know how he gets all this info, but he finds the new bills that are going through the House of Commons here in Canada. And he fucking puts it up there for you and tells you why it's fucking fishy and then connects dots. So that's what you need to do. You're just going out there saying, well, I heard that this is what's going to happen. I heard this from a doctor. It doesn't matter if that doctor said all this shit on YouTube. So that's entertainment. Regardless of her background or her reputation, all that shit is just bullshit. You know what I mean? Unless you have facts that prove that what you're saying, you have a list of ingredients from an official document that says that this is actually going to be in this vaccine, well, then they can just laugh you out of that place. Like I said, all the respect to the guy who stands up and does that is he's doing it for the right fucking reasons. But he's been manipulated from the get-go. And I'm not saying like this girl is on the side of those people trying to get people to take the vaccine. And instead of us finding out the real ingredients and the real harm that may be there or may not be there, right? They want people to take it and they know how people are and they're just going to go against anything they tell you to take, right? So what they do is because this thing's actually good for you and they want you to take it, well, maybe what they do is 
Yes. Put a bunch of false info out there so that whenever someone is brave enough to say, hey, what about all this shit? They manufactured all that fake information so that you look like an idiot and, then you sh- and anybody else who comes up and says these things, whether they have the real proof or not, they're like, we already went through this, don't even bother. It's a stupid fucking argument. You know what I mean? And that's what I don't want to see happen. That's why I want people who are trying to make a change, trying to bring awareness about this thing, to do it the proper way, instead of just using trigger fucking words, and trigger fucking, you know, um, these fucking, um, like, buzzwords that trigger people right off the hop, like this girl, as soon as she started her interview, she said something to the effect of, you know, this is a whole different vaccine, and unlike the other vaccines that I already don't like, that put heavy metals into us that make us in tennis for 5G. She says all that to get you on her side right off the hop for everybody who's looked into this stuff and has that opinion and they're now on her side. You know what I mean? But anybody who's done it for a little bit of research on that and sees the pros and cons to some of them, which she said is not inaccurate. There are some very big heavy metals. There's even one of those vaccines that we give to our children that has mercury in it, for God's sakes. And I haven't been able to find any reason that that is going to be beneficial to us except for the fact that you know mercury there's a lot of mercury in fish and it's, it's detrimental to us but if our kids can take in mercury at a young age and fight against it then hell they're going to have hella strong fucking immune systems um, at least against that but the problem is their immune system hasn't been created yet this is why they're so vulnerable when they're that young that's why it's always the elderly and the children under the age of like one that are the most vulnerable because elderly immune system aren't working right children under one barely have an immune system if it's already been created and some of them depending on the trial gets created before later and so on and so forth but the point is if you want to be one of those people debunking this shit you need to find facts legitimate facts but start off with just at least somebody who's willing to put out a paper saying this is what's in that virus even if it's a leaked document you can start there but if it's not an official document it may not work either like I said, eternally aware is what we've got to follow and tell you what to go look at, at least for the laws and why these laws are going to be bad or good for us or how you can use these laws to your benefit. So all these laws, of course, you can take a vaccine. He gives remedy for how you can go against it. It's not always a simple process, but it's still a remedy. So check him out. Seriously. These Canadian dudes are Canadian even better. But I mean, even if he's not Canadian, he's going to... What the process he does to look at Canadian law is going to be the same, but different words, right? So if you're in the States, you're going to have a constitution. Um, you're not going to have the Charter of Canadian Rights and Freedoms. It's going to be a different name for that. But the process he does is the process you need to follow. Because you won't be able to use Canadian law if you're from Australia or from the States or from Germany or Russia or England. You know what I mean? Well, uh, fucking, you know, anywhere in South America. Um, anywhere south of North America. <laughs> Anyways. So all that said, if that's what I was doing, and I was getting a fucking headache. I'm getting a headache just thinking about it, because it's a lot of fucking work. And um, the easier remedy is magic. What do I mean by that? Well, at the beginning of my video yesterday, I started talking about the Maya, the illusion. Um, I forget how I got onto that, but this realm, I started saying something connected to this realm is the Maya. That's why they call it Maya, the illusion. And we all agree to that. For, you know, for various reasons. So, which is a theory. I think it was Slender Wizard. I was trying to give examples of maybe easier debunkable fucking um, theories that he can use. Flatters versus Clover. And I said I didn't have an opinion. Because my opinion is that this is a Maya. As much as this is real, okay? This is real for us. It's an illusion, but it's real. We are really experiencing what we're experiencing. But it's still an illusion. The minute we no longer can... Our nervous system and our brain are no longer attached, sending signals to our eyes and all that. Well, then we're no longer going to see this illusion of taking the blind. Even more than that, whenever our heart stops, our brain gets fucked up, whatever the case is, we are no longer attached to that nervous system to perceive this and feel this realm. Well, then we're dead. So, yeah, you might feel a split second of pain if your brain is still connected to that nervous system before you lose enough blood to die. But once you're dead, you're dead. You don't feel the thing anymore. And that's when the illusion stops. Reincarnation, your soul goes somewhere else. That's how we kind of perceive it. Who knows if that's real or not? I tend to think it is, but it's part of us that, you know, doesn't ever die, right? It's part of us that gets reincarnated. Who knows the cycle, but we don't remember that shit. All right, it might get a little loud. It's open the window, but I need a smoke.
Anyways, so I was saying that because for me, low birth, flat earth, it's what we make it. And if we're divided on that, well, then half the people are going to think it's flat, half the people are going to think it's low. People that have the real information are the ones that have seen it firsthand up there, whatever the case is, and they might not think we're ready for the truth, so they'll never release it. And if we're bickering over flat earth versus low birth down here, half the people think the fucking shit's flat. Well, it's like, well, they're totally not going to be ready for no, it's round, plus there's an inner earth, plus that's what they're... Except, you know, you don't normally 
plain as your piece of paper first, but, you know, if you want optimal results, everything you use and spell, if there is any negativity or harmful shit charged negatively, and you're trying to use it in a positive way, let's say, which I'm not using those words correctly, but just for the sake of simplicity, um, you'd be better off to cleanse it, but you don't want to put salt water on a piece of paper, so you use your fucking incense or whatever, but fire and smoke versus... No, and you can. Well, that's a positive way for it. But we use uh, frankincense. Frankincense, when you burn it, you have a frankincense stick, uh, incense, and that releases negative ions. Probably the best way to cleanse things because the negative ions will, will uh, balance out the positive ions. It's been charged negatively, but then you might need positive ions. See what I'm getting at? But anyways, that's why a salt bath water, or salt, uh, a salt water bath is beneficial to you. Because if you are too positive or too negative, it'll bring you back to neutral. And then from there, you can charge yourself. But if you're in a new negative state or a too positive state, you are going to have a hard time because, you know, you're doing black magic and maybe you're using the negative side of the moon. Well, if you're in a too positive way, it's going to be hard to get in line with that. But you want to keep your mind away from being like negativity. And negative charging things using the negative side is not a bad thing at all. The point is, these are all magics we can do for to promote healing. And then once you do all those things, from the grounding, from middle pillars, from meditations where you grow roots, or the magnet meditation, and you put, you know, like imaginatively, you get rid of all the positive emotion, or positive ions there in your body. And you can look at it as like negative iron shavings or whatever the case is, other people's garbage that you energetically took on. You put all that in the ground. If all this shit. All this shit will heal certain parts of you, but if there's still an issue, because there's been a test done where people were doing earthing, and I forget how many test subjects, but let's for simplicity, I know it was a bigger number than this, but it was 8 out of the 10 started feeling better, it was for depression or anxiety or both. And the two that didn't get better, the pressure... In 10 kilometers, keep left onto Trans-Canada Highway Central, Ontario Route W toward Ottawa. Out of the 10 people... To get their depression or anxiety wasn't really going away. But they found out that one had a type of cancer and one had another type of disease. And because the earth, you know, whoever, their body and the earth both knew that that was more diet. There's no part, point in getting rid of your depression if you have something that's going to cause more depression. You know what I mean? I said that before. There's ways of breathing to unclog your nose if you got a, a stuffed nose by, you know, pushing against uh, your breath against your nose, right? Like holding your breath and pushing air in your nose. It's breathing through your nose, releases this nitric oxide, this nitric fucking gas. I don't know the exact name, I can't remember it now. But that's why breathing through your nose is better for you, because it cleanses the air. Especially if you're breathing in your own carbon dioxide, like wearing a mask too often. But if you do that, and that'll build up and it clears your nose. But if you have an infection that's causing you to get a blocked nose or a runny nose, well then it's gonna keep happening, so you have to clear that infection. But there's these little techniques that can make you get healthier enough so that life isn't so bad, so that you go see a physician, you go get antibiotics, or you use different herbs that, you know, are anti-inflammatory, anti-fucking viral, anti-infection. Basil are a good anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, anti-fucking everything. But you, that's something you use all the time to reduce the, 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 um, possibility of you getting this infection once you have that infection basil probably won't cut it unless you're like counting it back by big doses which can be very hard to do so at that point you go to a doctor you get an antibiotic which i'm not you know antibiotics kill and stop your whole immune system function for a while so and then once the antibiotic takes hold it kills that infection but if you start going outside and you're around other infections well that antibody why that antibiotics in your system are fine once it's not in your system, you know, if you take it for seven days and then you stop, it's like three or four days it takes for your immune system to start back up. Those are the three or four days you should probably stay home. If you feel better and you're on the antibiotic, it's safe for you to go to work, keep go to school, while you still have the dose in you. But if three or four days where you're off that dose, that's when you should probably stay home because that's when you're more vulnerable. And you won't notice it right away. You can pick another one up, your immune system will start three days later and try to fight it off. And you'll start feeling a little shitty, but it's actively fighting it for you. And then, you know, it won't be until a couple weeks later that you'll get sick. But it's something that started right after you were already sick. And you just don't know it. All these things are little magical things because they're all occult. But they've all been hidden. But when you 
you're too far gone, if you have an infection, if you have a fever or something causing that, all these, if you have something serious starting your body, all these little techniques could help you over time, especially if you believe it's going to work for you. If you believe you don't have anything serious, these things are the all be all and they're going to cleanse you and make everything better, then they absolutely will. I mean, I truly believe the placebo effect is a real thing, but most people don't have that level of belief, so it's not something I should promote out here because the gullible or the more naive people, which I was one in the beginning, I didn't think I needed a doctor. I don't like needles or doctors, but, and so this, this is strong coming from me, because I am so against going to doctors and needles and all that shit, but I realize it's irresponsible of me to tell someone who's got any stage of cancer or Alzheimer's or, or epilepsy or any, uh, fucking the smaller ones, just like uh, mono or anything like that, it would be stupid and irresponsible for me to tell them that they can heal themselves from earthing, tuning forks, the right frequencies, um, you know, drinking the right water, all these things will fucking help, and maybe it will even cure them, but I don't know that without a shadow of a doubt, because that stems on, all those things will help to a certain degree, even if they don't believe in them, but if they have belief in that, they, that will cure them, then it'll do In two kilometers, keep left onto Trans-Canada Highway Central, Ontario Route W toward Ottawa. If they believe those things will cure them, and they do these things religiously every single fucking day, and they have no doubt in their mind they're going to be cured, and they forget about it and they don't dwell on it, well then, it'll probably cure them. But like I said, most people don't have that level of belief, so I'm not going to fucking really promote that. But I truly believe that. I'm a smoker, I'm an ex-addict, and so from time to time I drink. So I'm not the most, by all outward appearances, I'm not the most healthiest guy. You wouldn't think that what my uh, my other job was saying about my blood count, what my blood looks like, all the things. Use the left two lanes to keep left onto Trans-Canada Highway Central, Ontario Route W toward Ottawa. Sorry about that, Siri cut me off. But anyway, so all that's to say is, you know, magically at that point, if you don't have ultimate faith or, you know, it's not working or fast enough for you, well, that's when you whip out, an, if you're doing ceremonial magic, that's when you whip out Archangel Raphael's sigil and you ask him the, um, the, um, the, the divine physician, let's say, to take a look at your shit. That's how I started. To ask him just to take a look at it, see if there's anything you can do, and illuminate me to anything that I can do outside of going to a hospital, something to that effect. And then, you know, when I used to do desperate magic, I would ask him to heal me straight up or heal someone straight up, but I kind of pulled away from doing something like that. But that's when you whip out the sigils, that's when you whip out the spell work, that's when you whip out the magic, stating, being grateful, thankful, honor, um, whatever, I mean, I use grateful for money most of the time, and I use some other ones for healing, but still, wealth, being, having a healthy body, having healthy children, having money, that's all part of wealth, and the best, um, according to what a lot of people I listen to, the best way to receive wealth is using I am grateful. I will something is powerful, I am is even more powerful, which, you know, will I am, William Prince William, you know, um, or something to that name, just Will I Am, you know what I mean, William, I Am Will, um, which is Will Smith too, you know, he's a very powerful person, it's a powerful name, if you're going to give some magical name, you don't want to make a weird one or something, well, try William, it might fucking really work for you, or I Am Will or something like that, but I Am, I'm telling you, it's powerful as fuck, you just say I Am Grateful, well then you get, you get an emotional, an emotion, a word that has a vibration, frequency, uh, fucking, um, yeah, his vibration or frequency attached to it. You know what I mean? His gratitude, he's got a high vibration of love attached to it. And you know, that is normally what people need to manifest money. I mean, I'm so damn pissed off that I got all this money at work using uh, the dark side of the moon energy, and you really put that energy into it. It doesn't matter. You can use bad energy or bad energy. Um, mad anger. You know, I am so fucking angry. It also has a vibration. It's a lower vibration, but if that matches your state as you're performing the magic, you can bring money into there. But for your Savior says, when you do that, don't be surprised when the shit comes that you want. 
um, it's tainted with a bunch of circumstances that make you angry. So maybe try to stay away from that if possible. But anyways, that's when you whip out the sigils and all the magic, the candles. Just running on a candle for me is enough because I've been doing it for so long. That was the type of magic I did because I was unsure. I knew what they meant by putting a sigil on a candle. And I knew that you put your spell underneath the candle, this light ball, if I could just write it on the candle. Wouldn't that work? And I did that over and over and over again. Nothing was manifesting until all of a sudden I started seeing the things that, because I didn't write everything down. When I thought of it, I'd write it down. Sometimes I write it down in my manifestation books and then I didn't know which one was coming through because that's a consecrated book to manifest stuff into my reality. But sometimes I would just write it in a diary just to keep track of it. So then in my face, and it says, this way you can look back and say, oh, my fuck, that did manifest in case you forgot. So, but I trained my body that just writing my whole statement of intent on a candle, small or big, man, I made it fit on things. I always put the deity of the week. You know, I would use colored candles, but I can use just white candles as well, depending on what I'm going for. But if it's going to sign, it's going to be yellow. If it's mercury, so like it's going to be fucking orange, but I can also use yellow because it's for air, right? For me, the color of the candle has to correspond to the element with the day of the week. So, but our favorite Raphael is connected to, uh, it's connected to fucking uh, mercury, so you know, orange is a good candle for you, especially if you're doing healing. That's probably your best bet. But anyways, so anyways, um, that's it for now, because i got to get to work, and I'm going to smoke those some tunes, get myself in the right vibration, and yeah, I'll finish this up on my way home, so thank y'all, see you in a little bit. Alright, what's going on, y'all? Fucking what? Shit. Oh, man, probably ain't getting any later, so let's do that. Oh, that sucks, though. Okay, um, so, I don't know what the last thing we're talking about, some type of healing item, probably. Uh, I think the last thing was, like, this is where you get all these spells. into that is how I said the beginning. The beginning is boy if someone help me out. In the beginning I said we're, we're all in agreement of you know our from our nervous system to our eyes and our brain all working together to see this world. Um, our brain, our touch senses, you know all that works in coordination with the um, brain, plus the nervous system, taste, smell, hearing, all that, okay? When those go away, then you lose one of your senses, okay? And then from there, I got on to healing, why you could, well, for example, breathing, you can shut off or turn on it into one of your nervous systems, which is super important to go. Drink a specific water gives your body the electricity your cells need to do what's correct to heal yourself. Be perfect, grounding, taking a body on, any kind of taking a body on, everything sitting in your house or anywhere around, whether that's putting you down or bath, salt water, um, you know, frankincense, to the, all those things. All that's healing. Really magic, healing, magic, healing. And, you know, the reason I got on this is because of the conspiracies, you know, it's almost like majority vote. That's how I think of collective consciousness sometimes. Majority of people believe something, but then it's not a real or a collective consciousness. Now, if the majority of people believe something that's against our laws, but then it's not really plausible, it can't really happen, it, it doesn't really hold much water or weight or whatever. So, that's why some of these uh, conspiracies are just plain ridiculous. Now, when it comes to coronavirus, that is plausible. You can have viruses that take us out. There are times, there have been times of plague, so on and so forth. So, those things are really a lot. Now, the vaccine with the robots, with the DNA, being able to live, and send things to the cloud, you know, that, I'm not saying it's not likely, because I don't know enough about it, but it's less likely to be happen. And I don't mean that in a way that we're not technically advanced enough. I don't believe that for a second. I think we are. But, anyways. But all this is to say is the reason I say use magic. Or 
everything. For anything and anything. And if you need to know about the vaccines, if you're worried about having to take a vaccine, if you need to uncover, uh, you know, to something, whether it's divination or just a spell work, to, uh, for you to receive the true information or the truth about the vaccine and all that. I mean, do a spell for that should happen. It'll happen. This is, it's the same reason why we are able to manifest in our life because we have a part of our body that is connected to our reality, both outer and inner. I think that's where I got stuck when I started talking about all the things you do to heal yourself. But both outer and inner, so now the outer part, uh, everything first tries to manifest within you. After that, it's going out uh, around you. So if something you're trying to manifest, like money, you can't really manifest within you. Kind of need health and joy of money, so it's kind of a good system that way. Like, if you're not healthy, if you're asking for wealth, well, it's going to happen you first. You know, well, that's not what I asked for. I said, well, you didn't know you're dying, asshole. So how about saying thank you for fixing you instead of just bitching? But it was a little bitch. But, anyways. Um, but yeah, so the next step is outside of you. So everything tries to first go internal and then external. This is why we have dualities, because inside, outside, you know what I mean? We have all these things going in our body, you know, in our left hand, right hand. And it doesn't matter. You see, the head of the offices, we have both body parts, both extremes, and it's off the bottom, both, you know, vertical. Anyways, all this is to say that this is how you can manifest in your life. This is why it's the trick. And this is a good line of thinking. This is one that helps me. It's up to you, if you want to use it or not. But it's people putting on information that put you in fear that you think is, oh my god, I'm new age, I know I made my own world, but I'm fucking afraid of this shit, or I don't like this shit, or whatever this shit might be. It's like, you don't have to worry about it. But you're not wrong, you can control your world. But clearly you don't believe it, or you don't have a working knowledge of it, if you're actually scared. and are worried about these things, because I'll tell you right now, nothing to worry about. Fucking nothing. Nothing. Now, I'm doing my due diligence and looking this bitch up and all that shit because I actively hate, hate, and I say that with the full weight of that word, I fucking hate people being manipulated. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people who are out here that I maybe can't even stand, let's say, with such strong belief system opinions that get in the way of everything. Fuckers I can't stand. It's not even their fucking fault. They've been manipulated. And I don't like that. I fucking can't stand that. So me actively looking into this is just, you know, healthier than me going after another spiritual fucking guru, teacher, thunder wizard, somebody like that, or Ralph Smart or some shit like that. That's supposed to be our counterculture for people to have a place to go to when they're seeking spirituality outside of the fucking regular fucking places that are common, you know? I don't want to shit on those guys. Even if I do see them doing something wrong, it doesn't matter. Whatever. They're finding their way. I'll eventually find their fucking right way. Who the fuck says I have the only right way? I don't know. But if I can actively point out manipulating little fucking pieces of shit people, I'm not saying that's what that person is. I haven't done enough research into it yet. But, you know, then so be it. And that's what I'll fucking do. I'll fucking come after motherfuckers, manipulating motherfuckers. In the process, Know, release the information and uh, tell everybody why these people are full of shit. Kind of like I did with so many episodes with Thunder Wizard. I wasn't saying he was all full of shit. It was a concept he was actively against and full of shit. That's why it could work and all this. And, you know, I don't know how popular by any stretch of the imagination, but the man has fucking changed. I can't say he hasn't. I'm not saying that's anything to do with me, but I'm saying he may just realize that, you know, he can kind of make a lot of paradox, a lot of mistakes. Just tone it down a second. Don't make some mistakes. I'm yelling at people for asking stupid questions, yet I am making some stupid mistakes sometimes. So I'm not saying it's what he said or had a conversation. I'm simply just stating that the man has changed. I don't know why he changed, but it doesn't matter. If you think it's a coincidence that he changed after I release those videos, then you're a fucking fool. There is no coincidence. <coughs> oh, I don't know how much more I'm going to talk about. It's pretty bad. As much as I like distracting myself when I'm on the fucking road, um, I'm kind of drawing a blank. But anyway, so I'm trying to keep going if I can. I can. 
Um, your nervous system tells the signals in the brain to do whatever. The brain signals tell the nervous system to do receive information and return it to the brain, whatever else. These are all interpreted. This happens in seconds, man, so fucking fast. If you can only do, like, you can only understand how fast these things happen. Right now, I'm watching this road. Everything that's going on, I'm aware of, you know what I mean? Plus, I'm also talking to so get information that way, which helps get information, by the way. If you have your conscious mind out of the way, focusing on driving, subconscious mind's wide open. That's why I like driving and being in the car the majority of the time when I record. I get the best stuff that way. Just simple. I am so focused on the road, especially right now, that the subconscious is just there, ready to spill the beans. You guys get it all. So, but, honestly, the subconscious talk. It isn't when it's helpful to start breathing fast, activate parasympathetic, you know, sympathetic nervous system, and then you won't have a problem sleeping. You know, there's benefits to this shit. Everybody should be, uh, open and doing this shit actively. Alright, let me get rid of the smoke. This is where else I can go with this coffee. Fucking starving. I'm tired. I'm wet. I'm a little cold. I leave my hands on my feet. But anyways, um so without the nervous system, the brain, we don't have this Maya. Okay? Now this Maya that we have because of the nervous system the brain. Those things interpret it. They don't create. Okay? You can use your nervous system in your brain to create stuff into your Maya, your illusion, your world, your matrix. Um, absolutely, that's definitely something that can be your, you know. Oh, man, I'm lining up a car, it's getting fucking worse and worse and worse. I'm just trying to get home. But. The way you use your conscious mind to help create stuff is to consciously do ritual or consciously make situations. Then you get the trick is to get into the subconscious mind. You have all the various ways of getting stuff into the subconscious mind. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to stop. I can't, I can't really think of it now. I'm having a hard time. I'm having a headache too. So once I get home, I'll finish up this video once I feel like it. Sorry, y'all, but you won't even really know, to be honest. All right, everybody. So I was supposed to add to this because I really wanted to get into deeper into some other shit. But I'm just going to leave this as is as an introduction to healing magic slash energy cleansing. And, uh, you know, why it's important to, if you're led to a doctor, use a doctor and do not judge. And you do objective research and shit like that uh, because it's pretty fucking late and, you know, if I come here and I start recording in the car, I'm going to be another hour. So I'll just save that for tomorrow on my way up to work. And yeah, I'll just leave this video as is since I made a home alive. So time to shower, fuck, make my lunch for me and the kids and get the hell to bed. So anyways, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it to everybody who subscribes and everybody who views and everybody who listens to the podcast. I really, really fucking do appreciate it. And take care of yourself. You know, hit me up if you have any questions or want me to talk about anything or whatever. All right. Have a great fucking night.